Hello, boys and girls. We add another fifty dollars and a couple hours of work. Yeah. To we, the we just did the the prices the video and uh, and I was saying oh we had no issues whatsoever blah, blah, blah. Well, we do have an issue. We have a bearing issue that explains the noise. Actually, this we had uh, before we even went uh, to the event. A little bit of uh, wheel bearing uh, noise, but we had no play at all. This time we got play. Okay, that's the bearing. But what we noticed that big bolt, the 32 axle bolt, is well, it uh, undid itself just a tiny bit. I'm gonna see if it's actually loose or not. You know, after tightening it, you do have to knock this in into that. And I think we need to replace the bearing anyway. Yeah, we're so gonna replace the bearing. It's yeah. we got loose, so separated. Yeah. See, right now the, the we got no play now, but uh, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with that bearing, so we're gonna replace it anyways. But we, yeah, we did knock this in. Um, you have that little cutout inside the axle. Uh, so this was knocked in, so uh, this, probably one full turn, it came off. Somewhere there. Okay, so we're going to use a new nut, and we are going to replace the bearing. Uh, we got it from AutoZone for 60 something dollars. Uh, national, three year warranty. Instead of removing the upper part of the ball joint, I just did the, the bottom. So the cutter pin out, 19, and then just slide out. And then you got the strut here, the two bolts in the strut, the tie rod, the main 32 on the CVXO, the brake caliper bracket right here. That's it. It is actually noisy. Yeah, it is a little bit noisy. And uh, what I've noticed is the grease has come out on the outside a little bit. It's on the seal. So something definitely going on in here. I'm gonna take these out. The two, the three 12 mil bolts, take those out. I have to remove this plate so I don't damage it. And then we're gonna go to the press. Now there's a clip that I need to take out. I'm gonna grab it right here, try and pull it out.
All right, guys, so you saw me uh, kind of struggle a little, little bit removing the race on the hub. I wanted to show you that it's possible without any special tools. Well, I did use a grinder finally, cut it here to kind of loosen it up and then uh, knock it out this way. First, you want to, once you cut it, then you can use a chisel and try and turn it so it gets loose and then you can just knock it out. I did damage the hub a little bit. You can see the surface over here, but this surface doesn't matter because the actual bearing, the races, sit on this area and the seal sits on, on this top area. So that's the outer seal, then there's the inner right here. So before I press in the hub, I need to install the seal. This bearing will go right in here. This is what I ordered from AutoZone. National bearings, Federal Mogul motor parts, made in Japan. This is an actual NSK made in Japan bearing. Three year warranty for about 60 bucks. Good stuff. From AutoZone. Now we're gonna go to the press and press this in either either way. I got a little setup going here. Bearing and the actual outside bearing race of the one I took out then a race inside that race, and then a 32, 36 mil socket. Should be good. So now there's a crucial moment to keep it straight. It's going sideways a bit, but I'm gonna press it in anyways. And we're in. If it, if it was gonna go sideways, angled too much, then I would stop and then just push on that angled up side. Remember when you're pressing it in, press on the outside edge. Don't press the inner races. My race actually broke. We'll be right back. Okay, still need a, need a bit more. As you can see, it's gotta go all the way to this uh, ridge right here. So I got two options. I can find a different one, different size thing that will allow me to go inside. Well, this will still go inside the original uh, bearing, but it's gonna get stuck. But I should be able to knock it out because only uh, you know maybe a quarter of it will go inside. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna keep going. Oh, okay. That's cool. Alright, so now this clip. Easy with the right tools. And that's good. Now look, actually went to get those inner and outer seals. So I gotta wait for that. One's gonna go here. And the other here. I got the seals from Advanced Auto Parts National as well. These are made in Taiwan. Okay, looks good. It's actually better looking than AutoZone. Using, using the same race, old one, on the outside.
do this part, you got no other choice but to squeeze it by the inner races. So watch the hub as it gets close and you'll feel it. Once it's in, don't push it. You saw how easy it went. Didn't really you know use any strength to push this in. Because if you you know once you get to the to the bottom of it then you let go don't push in any further I mean maybe a little bit but uh, you know maybe an inch or whatever just to make sure but this well right now it's not easy to turn but uh, it will get better once it's on the car what tight oh, yeah it's, it's Urgent. tight so this is it this is going back in What's all this noise, man? You're dusting up my car. All right, now, now you've done it. Where's, where's the scratch? Nowhere. Drop on the floor. All right. Uh, Explain to the people what? what you've been doing. Bracket. Okay. <laughs> Bracket. All right. So, as I've uh, mentioned in the last or one one episode before this one uh, is we're gonna make a a guard from tubes load locks. That is load locks are used in uh, semi-trucks and trailers to hold your cargo in place 